Hello everybody, it's time for another perfume review and this is another one of my favourites. So this is the Givenchy Very Irresistible range and this is their intense version, it's called Le Intense. So Givenchy Very, Very Irresistible Le Intense. Bit of a mouthful. The, you might recognise the original Very Irresistible, it's the same kind of bottle but it's pink. And I think it was, now what's she called? Liz... Mm, can't remember her name. Aerosmith's daughter, Liz, was the spokesperson for it for a while, but now I think it's changed. Um, so these have been out for quite a while, um, and this was released later than the original pink one. The pink one's quite sweet, as you would expect from a pink coloured fragrance. Um, I think it's okay, but I much prefer the intense version. It's a perfume and it's really strong. So one spray, um, you know, on your wrist, you can smell it 12 hours later, 18 hours later. Um, I spray my clothes with this when I'm wearing them and I can still smell it in the wardrobe days and days later. So it's really good for lasting. So when I first tried it, I noticed how well it lasted and then I just... I really love the smell and I thought, okay, this is a good fragrance. Um, with it being quite old, you can actually get it relatively cheap now. So I got this half price in the Harrods Summer Sale. Um, it was £35, down from 70 something. Um, Harrods Perfume Haul, I have to say, is amazing. Not only do they have every sort of fragrance you can imagine, but when they do sales, they genuinely do do sales and you will get decent perfumes there at half price. It's not just the same old ones you see that don't sell, like the Lacoste pink ones and um, like the more and more and oh, I just opened the lid there and I can smell it. Um, so yeah, if you're ever in London around sale time, then definitely go to the Harrods Perfume Port because you can pick up some real bargains and it's a beautiful place to shop. So what does it smell like? So the top note is kind of like a plummy. Um, it's, it's a little bit sort of autumnal floral smell, um, though it's not too flowery. And you've got that patchouli base note, um, maybe slightly musky, but it's not sweet. It's kind of like a cherry sweet almost. It's not like a fruity. It's like a, um, a winter cherry, like a winter dessert or something like that, if that makes sense. Um, it's quite unusual and it just lasts really well and it's quite striking, it's feminine but it's not girly so if you're looking for a um, strong long lasting perfume um, that's slightly floral then I can't recommend this one enough I can't recommend this one enough, I absolutely love it so thanks everybody for watching, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe, bye!